going live now. Hi, everyone. Are we all here? I was so excited tonight. Where are we? Are we here? Are we live? We're live. Yes. So it's Monkey here. Hello, Monkey. Hi. And um, my creator, Nicola, is here with me. And I just want to check that we are definitely live. Um, yes, we are definitely live. And uh, I'm going to introduce you to my creator, Nicola. Nicola, can you introduce yourself, darling? Hello, everybody. Can anybody see me? I'm not sure if they can see me. Yeah, we're live. We're live, we're live. Hello, everybody. I hope you can see me because I can only see Penny at the moment. Yeah, um, you only see me, that's all. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. <laughs> and well, I'm, I'm Nicola and I've come to help Little Monkey, because you can see that Penny's not here today, it's Little Monkey. And together we're going to show you how to do a magical butterfly dance to help all little monkeys and all little children feel much, much better. So. Are you going to join in children? You My aunts and uncles. Join everyone. <laughs> and so, little monkey, what do you got to say to everybody? Well, Nicola, um, um, I'm so, well, there's just so much going on. I thought we could start off with doing something that a lovely girl taught me called Nicola Forbes. And can we do this? It's called a lemonade fizz. Okay. So is everybody ready? Um, now, if you haven't seen the tapping videos, mum and dad, come off this video and pop on to Andrea's at, and Janice's video, because this is quite important, but we'll be guiding you anyway. So let's do this. Can we actually just feel our bodies, shake our arms, oh. shake our arms. Are we all standing up, first of all? Shake our arms. Can you feel that? Stomp your feet. Yay! What's going on for you guys? I can't see the chat box, so I don't know. But if moms and dads can put in, or the kids can put in how you're feeling, can you feel your all these bubbles, all that energy? We've been in lockdown for so long. How long? Too long. So let's shake that off. Let's shake it off. Can you feel all the energy? Yes, shake it off. Let's start tapping. Oh, see, feel all that bubbles. This is all like the lemonade bottle fizzing up through. Can you feel that in your body? Let's do this. Woo! Who can be a monkey with me tonight? <laughs> little monkey, little monkey. I don't know if anybody can see me at all because I can't see me. I know I'm the little monkey, the little butterfly can be invisible. And have you got a have you got a little butterfly with you? No. I don't have a butterfly. Where's the butterfly? Can anybody you, see my butterfly? Butterfly's your friend. And haven't you seen your friend for a long, long time? No, I haven't seen my friend. I'm really sad. I'm no, so sad. I know. Where do you feel all that sadness in you? It's in my tummy. It's in your tummy. Yeah. Oh, little but little monkey. Why don't you d find an invisible butterfly to do some tapping with? Would you like to? How do I find an invisible one? You can just use your imagination and have you can have a little butterfly on the end of your finger. Or maybe I can see it. I can see your butterfly. Let's 
let's do the butterfly dance together. Shall we? We need to go right to the top of the head. So everybody can join in. Everybody join. A butterfly is very light. So just gently tap on the top of your head and just tell me about what's going on in your tummy. What does it feel like in your tummy? Yes, we want to go down to the eyebrow. It's my tummy. What's happening? And it's you dance before. along your eyebrow like you were dancing along a branch. And then on the side of the eye, like the flower, like the flower near the giraffe. You have a giraffe behind you. These are my friends. I'm not allowed to see them. I'm not allowed to hug oh, them. You're not allowed to hug them. And how does that, does that make you feel extra sad? My tummy hurts even more. Oh no. Does your tummy's heart? Yeah. Does your head hurt? Where are you feeling that? You can tell little butterfly all about it because little butterfly can dance and dance and all, just try underneath your nose. That sometimes tickles underneath your nose. Yeah. <laughs> Does that tickle, little monkey? Is and then, I'm doing this with me? I don't yes. want to do this on my own. I hope I'm doing it with you. I'm doing it with you, little monkey. And then try to do it on your chest. You can go round and round on your chest. Yes, like you normally. Oh, can we play Tarzan? Can we do that? And you can play Tarzan. But little butterflies, very, very light. Little butterflies just going to go. And then little butterfly likes to go underneath your arm where you like to scratch. You know, lift your arm up a little bit. Yes. And then, and then he likes to come across your wrist. Yes. Like this, or so I'm following. On. Like, you know, you see a line. Like a butterfly likes to jump all along that little line. Of course, a butterfly is not very heavy. And then onto your, your thumb, right by the nail, at the top of your finger, along your nail. And each finger, little butterfly likes to do the dance. One finger at a time and down the side. So my new friends at home, how much is your sadness? Can you measure it? Is it this big or is it this much? My, my tummy pain has gone from here to here. What's happening with you? Can you feel that in your bodies? It's because it might not be in the tummy. It might be somewhere else, mightn't it? And it it might not be sad, it might be angry. Could yeah. be angry. I've been really angry. You've been really angry. Do we Mommy to... keeps on telling me to wash my hands. How many times does she have to keep on telling me to wash my hands? Oh, no, even though you have to w wash your hands all the time, you're still a really good little monkey. Let's go, let's do another round. Even though you're angry, to the top of the head, all oh, this anger. All this anger. Yes, it's not fair. All this it's definitely anger. not. And she was going on about toilet rolls so much. Oh no. Oh no. Now I was using too much of it. You and before she said I wasn't using enough. No. I can't do anything right. You can't do it. It's all so confusing. Even though you can't do anything right. Where do you feel that in your body? In my feet. In your feet. Oh, well, let's keep tapping, even though you can't do anything right. Yes, all the way on your chest. Let the butterfly just bring the magic dance to make you feel better. And you can whisper to the butterfly anything. My mummy, my mummy, she's, she makes me do these things. And it's not fair. My daddy's cross too. Your daddy's cross? Yeah, he's really cross. He's like that fizzy lemonade. He's like the fizzy. Well, maybe sometime if you learn the butterfly's dance, you can do the butterfly's dance on mummy or daddy. And you can teach, you can teach your little brothers and sisters if you have any. And what about if I don't, I don't have any brothers and sisters. 
these are my brothers and sisters so so how are your feet doing oh look at that you could you could tap on on tappy bear can i can i use the butterfly on tappy bear use the butterfly on tappy bear you can use the butterfly on a doll you can use the butterfly on any of your toys can yeah. i name my butterfly what's your butterfly called my butterfly is called bluey what's your butterfly called i'm not going to tell you you're not going to tell me <laughs> oh, it's, you a have, secret. it's good to have a secret and you know that if you don't have a butterfly that you've made you can have your invisible butterfly so you can keep your invisible butterfly just as secret as the name for the butterfly. And the more that you do the butterfly's dance, hopefully, the more that you're going to start feeling better. How are your feet feeling? Yeah, they're, they're okay. They're good. They're okay. And tell me, you were saying you don't have any brothers and sisters, so do you feel lonely? Oh, yes. And does that make you feel sad? Yeah, do you think you want to... No one wants to play with me. Mum and Dad don't want to play with me. But they're too busy. So let's, let's tap on... No, I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. They're ignoring me. They're ignoring me. They're so busy. They're ignoring me. And I feel sad because I'm so lonely. And I'm but... confused now. I'm, I'm really... so confused about Boris. You're confused about Boris. What are you confused about, Boris? Because he's on the news all the time, and Mummy and Daddy are getting cross with him, and he oh. looks like a fun man, but they're so cross. Well, maybe you could even tap on Boris on the telev television. You never know what happens because a butterfly's wings tapping can change a lot of things in the world. Did you know that? Tell me, tell me more. There's something called the butterfly effect and just one flap of the butterfly's wings can change the weather the other side of the world. Isn't that magic? Yes. So just think what you can do with your butterfly. If I keep on tapping, it will change things on the other side of the world. It could do. You just got to Keep tapping until you start to feel better. Are you feeling a bit better now, little monkey? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, would you like, would you like to hear a story? Yeah, because I'm feeling sleepy now. You're feeling sleepy. Well, the, the butterfly helps you relax. So sometimes it's really good to do the butterfly tapping when you're just about to go to bed because that can really help you sleep, especially if you're a little bit worried about things in the day or worried about mummy. So you can do that any time with your visible butterfly or with your butterfly. Would you like to do that? Please. Well, I hope everybody listening will remember to tap with their butterflies. But meanwhile, I'm going to tell you a story about a little monkey and a butterfly called Bluey. Like me and the butterfly. Like you and the butterfly. Would you like that? Okay, so you can tap along if you want to when we get to the butterfly's dance. So, not so very long ago, or maybe it was, there was a little monkey so cute and lovable that all his monkey tribe loved him very much. They used to play with him and have such fun. He felt so happy, safe and cared for. Then, for some reason, one day, all this changed. Little Monkey did not even remember when. It seemed so long ago. Suddenly, he realised that all his tribe were no longer there and he was in a strange place. He was still very small. And so he was looked after by other monkeys. They were not his tribe. And sometimes they were not very nice to him, which upset him. Rather than tell them, 
he stored his feelings up inside as he did not want to be left again. The only thing that had not changed as far as he could remember was his invisible friend, Bluey the butterfly. Now, of course, Bluey was not invisible to little monkey. He could clearly see the shiny, gorgeous blue butterfly. He loved it when the sunbeams lit its wings and they shimmered with all the colors of the rainbow. However, it seemed that Bluey was invisible to everyone else, which was fine by a little monkey because Bluey was magical. Little monkey could tell Bluey all his problems and Bluey would do a special dance to help him feel better. The dance was mostly the same every time, and yet Little Monkey would find he could whisper all his upset feelings to Bluey while the butterfly danced on him. And at the end of the dance, all his troubles seemed to have floated away. Now Bluey would land on Little Monkey's head right at the top and flutter its wings a few times and then down between his eyebrows and a long one, following the bony ridge around the eyes, as if dancing along a branch, pausing at the side of the eye, like collecting nectar from a flower. Then Bluey would fly under Little Monkey's nose. This usually tickled quite a bit. And then just under the mouth on the chin, that was the first part of Bluey's dance. Then Bluey would flutter down to Little Monkey's chest and jump up and down. A butterfly, of course, is not very heavy. Little Monkey knew this place well, as he and the other monkeys often pounded this place with their hands. <laughs> Sometimes Bluey would even go under Little Monkey's arm to the place monkeys like to scratch. That was only if Little Monkey was feeling extra bad that day. And sometimes that tickled a lot. <laughs> Bluey the butterfly. <laughs> are you finding that tickly? Bluey the butterfly would then flutter onto the inside of Little Monkey's rib. And while jumping and fluttering from, from thumb tip to fingertip, not missing any, and down the side of his hand, Bluey would ask if Little Monkey was feeling any better yet, or if there was any other thing that was bothering him. And if there was, well, Bluey would do the dance all over again. <coughs> me. And again, and again if needed, until Little Monkey felt much better. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes he felt so good, he would imagine he was back with his own tribe, playing all the games he used to play with his friends. <coughs> Just a little drink. And feeling so loved and so safe, Louis would whisper and weave magic colors around him. It felt like his own special cocoon. <coughs> it's just amazing what tapping can do. Relief is the cough as well. Little Monkey would notice then that the happy feeling would be in all of him. He could feel it in his head and his heart and in all of his body, sometimes like a tingling, sometimes like shimmering sparkles, and they would grow bigger and bigger, sending him. So Nicola seems to have paused and that's okay because we can still keep on tapping. What's happening with you? Can mom and dad put in the chat box what's going on? And if you like this story, she's back. She's back. I don't know it. Sometimes like shimmering sparkles and they would grow bigger and bigger, sending his happiness out to the trees and hills and sky, to the whole world and even to the stars. To the stars? Yes. 
the end. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nicola. <coughs> I'm going to invite you all to pop into the chat box. <coughs> What's happening? Do you have a little pain in your tummy? Or are you still a little bit angry? You can do the fizz anytime. Feel all the bubbles rise through it. Bring in your magical invisible butterfly. You can name it anything that you wish. And what else? What else is going on in your house? Are you excited? Or perhaps you might be a little bit scared of going back to school, but you can take your invisible butterfly to school with you. Nobody no needs to know. And if you don't want anybody to know, you can sit in the classroom and just sit and tap here very gently. And even if you don't want to even move the butterfly, you can just land the butterfly, the invisible butterfly on your head, in between your eyebrows, on your chest, and take deep breaths in and out. And no one needs to know that you have that butterfly with them. This can be a secret between you and your own butterfly. I'd love to know what you've called your butterfly. Mm -hmm. My butterfly is called Rainbow. Rainbow, oh, that's nice. And you know that also a butterfly can give you a big hug and you could cross your hands over your chest and make like a butterfly with your hands and just gently tap on your chest as you're breathing and that's calming as well. You could have a big butterfly hug and butterflies like to do positive tapping too. So you can say to yourself, I am safe. I am okay, just the way I am. I'm safe. I'm okay. I am okay. I am well. I'm well. And mummy's well. Mummy and daddy are well. And everybody's going, everything's going to get back to normal one day soon. And granny and grandpa are okay. And we can all speak on the phone. Yes. Okay. Granny okay yes and you know Louis the butterfly he's very magical he also likes to sing and I like to sing to my butterfly and I can do a little song like you can sing along with me and you could sing this little butterfly of mine it's going to make me smile this little butterfly of mine, it's going to make me smile. This little butterfly of mine, it's going to make me smile, make me smile all the while, make me smile. And you can, you can do any songs with that. Hide my little butterfly under my arm. It's going to make me smile. Hide my little butterfly under my arm. It's going to make me smile. Hide my little butterfly under my arm. It's going to make me smile, make me smile, make me smile, make me smile. And so you can sing that to your mummy and daddy and your brothers and sisters who you have them or your dolls. And you can make a little song with your butterfly to help you feel lots and lots better. Yes, you can sing it to Teddy. And how does that make you feel, little monkey? I'm sleepy now. Are you guys sleepy? Yes. I hope everybody's really relaxed. It would be really lovely to know what everybody's troubles are, but we can't see them here, can we? So your invisible troubles, hopefully, are floating away as well. And if you want to connect with Nicola, She'll put her website and her link in the chat box after this live is finished. Yeah, because I've also got a, just a little, a few resources and a few ideas how to, how to tap on your children. And, um, and so if you have any questions, it'd be lovely to hear from you by email. And, um, and there's also, six stories in the little monkey series and the magical tapping stories there's little monkey and bluey the butterfly and there's little monkey and the tiny mermaid and little monkey 
and the cave and the tiny mermaid and the yellow seahorse and little monkey's bad dream and little monkey's surprise. And it, they sort of lead on from each other and they go into different things like pain or loneliness and um, loss. So there are audios and there are also Kindle um, books on Amazon. So if anybody wants to find out more, then they can contact me. And I just want to say thank you so much to Nicola. I'm feeling a little bit better now. And you can do this anytime. If you fall down and you scuff your knee, if you're just watching something on TV and you don't like it, bring in Butterfly. Start tapping with Butterfly. If you see something out the window that you are you're just don't know what's happening because there's so much going on at the moment that we don't know what's going on and that's okay. We can do the Butterfly tap. And there's so much that we don't know what's going on and that's and okay. We can do that. that is what I didn't want to do. I was trying to look at the chat box and <laughs> I came on live. And so guys, I'd love to know what's going on for you. And if you've got any other questions, and I'd love to know what you've called your butterfly. It'd be great if we could actually all come up with the butterfly names. And any, um, as you know, we're raising money for uh, Doctors Without Borders and Janice has kindly put in the chat box um, how much we've raised so far. And if you wish to donate even $2, every single penny counts. So I'd like to say bye from Monkey. And, and bye from Bluey the Butterfly. Bluey the Butterfly wants to send his magical dance to all the children all around the world and in the hospitals or wherever and send his magical dance all around the world and even to the stars. Bye, Nicola. Goodbye, little monkey. Thank you. Bye, everyone. <laughs>